instead of using it as a liner, I'm just kind of taking this like wet color and just like really lightly making like a wash of the pink across her leg. Camila, you're so pretty. I hate it. Hey, Mary, what are you doing? Jumping right into it, starting off by brushing Ironel's brow hairs upwards using the Tweezer Man spoolie to start to create a pretty feathery look. Then I'm going in and cleaning up the brows. I love the rose gold slant tweezer for this. Next, I'm going to start shaping Ironel's brows using Tweezer Man's flat brow brush and spoolie. I first create the shape. Then I fill in the brows using the flat tip brush and a brow powder, making hair-like strokes following the shape I just created. Then I like to use the spoolie again with any brow gel or pomade that will keep the brow hairs in place. Okay, moving on to lashes. I'm curling Ironel's lashes using Tweezerman's Pro Master Lash Curler first. These are great for her almond-shaped eyes. And then next, I'm applying a coat of mascara to prep the lashes for some falsies. Using the Lash Assist tool, I'm adding some individual lashes to add volume and a bit more length. I personally love this tool because it really makes applying lashes so much easier and more precise. And these really made Ironel's eyes pop. beautiful brows. Here we go. The Grammys is the perfect opportunity to go bold and really experiment with vibrant colors. I used the lightest shade eyeshadow on the brow bone to highlight and accent the brow. To perfect the brows, I'm using the Tweezerman Brow Shaping Scissors and Brush. Gently comb in an upward direction and trim any longer hairs that have grown outside the brow's natural shape to avoid over trimming. These scissors allow me to be very precise, which is important because I want her brows to look as full and natural as possible. I'm going to remove any stray hairs using the rose gold slant tweezers by tweezing the hair out in the same direction of the hair growth to ensure the hair is removed from the root. This tweezer gets every hair every time. If you're unsure if a hair should be removed, my advice is to leave it, less is more. Your brows should be an accent, never a distraction. 
Next, I'm going to fill in Ironelle's brows using the angled brow brush along with a brow powder. I will outline and create her perfect brow shape by starting at the top bridge of the nose and working my way outward. I chose a medium brown shade which best matches her natural root color. Then using hair-like strokes, I will fill inside the brow, really focusing on any sparse areas which tend to be at the very end and beginning of the brow. Once her brows are filled into perfection, I use a brow gel or pomade with the spoolie end of the brush, always starting from the interior of the brow to the outermost corner for a more controlled and lasting polished look. Look at those beautiful brows. I'm curling Ironelle's lashes using the Tweezerman Pro Lash Curler and gently pulsing several times at the root. This lash curler is specifically designed for almond shaped eyes, which helps me get closer to the lash line for a more lifted curl, making the lashes appear longer. I'm giving her lashes a light layer of mascara to add depth and volume before applying single false lashes. I try to get as close to the lash line as possible when applying mascara so I can coat every last lash. I love applying lashes with the Tweezerman Lash Assist tool because it helps grasp lashes with ease so I can place each lash super close to the lash line for a seamless application. I like to use a longer lash in the center to really open up the eyes. I decided to use these very natural single lashes and paired it with a neutral lip and cheek because I really wanted her colorful eyeshadow to shine through and be the star. I'm applying one more coat of mascara to secure everything in place. Don't forget that makeup is fun, so don't be afraid to play with a bit of color. And that's it. Hope you all enjoyed this Grammy-inspired look on Ironelle. Thanks for watching. Let me know what tips and tricks you'll be trying in your routine. Look like Kendall. Oh you my guys. God. I'm Mary Phillips and I'm a celebrity makeup artist. For the fresh morning look, what I like to do is apply the cushion everywhere using the foundation brush. And then I like to take the La Mer Mist and lightly spritz it over the face just to get that real fresh glowy look. For a touch up throughout the day, I like to take the cushion compact. I love the little sponge that's in it. Take it and apply it anywhere you would need a little bit of extra coverage. It's really great because you can actually layer it without it looking too overly made up. For the nighttime look, I'm gonna show you how I like to kind of refresh the skin. I'm gonna use a little bit of the creme. I'm gonna put it all over my big brush and I'm gonna go all over the makeup. Now I'm gonna go back in with the cushion. Take the brow and lash brush with some brow gel on it and just comb through it. This brush is great because it just goes right through the brows, separates them in the perfect way and gets them to stand up. So the point tweezer is amazing for grabbing like these little tiny fine baby hairs. Also those ones that are kind of like peeking out um, through the skin but you can't really grab them, these ones will, will get that done.
know what to do You gon' try your job when I go drop out the road Blessing in and out when she hopping out the pole We don't get involved if your feelings in the toe Cause that's not how we live so just throw the racket off We gon' play it all Her pussy been fine like it's laid it off Side you know, if you have a fuller brow, more dense hair um, on your brows, I would definitely recommend the flat brush with the spoolie. It's great because it's it's nice and flat and it has a little bit more bristles on it, even though they are still like nice and compact and, and narrow, but you can really get in there in between those like thicker hairs. Outline your brows with the powder and then take the spoolie and blend it. You can also get your powder on it to create like the hair strokes with the flat brush as well. So it's, it's really great. And I love it with, that there's the spoolie on the other side because you don't have to go search for your other brush. You just flip it around, brush it up, done. Definitely remember when I first got a white highbrow hair, I think I have like one in there somewhere, but I pull it out. Um, it's definitely up to the person though. I mean, if you're tending to get a lot of them, I would definitely leave them and, and get a good brow tint. But if you do want to get rid of it, I would definitely recommend the point tweezer. If there's great precision on that tweezer, it's really easy to just grab one single hair. You know, so just grab it.